Hannah is a 42 year old Asian female. She presented with a sudden onset of fever with shaking chills and joint dust. She has a past medical history of cholangitis due to gallbladder stones for which she had undergone laparoscopic cholecystectomy three months before. She had no family history of hemolytic disease. Her physical examination revealed teric skin and sclera without abdominal or costovertebral angle tenderness. Her blood pressure was 122 by 61 millimeters of mercury and her pulse rate was regular at 119 beats per minute. Moving on to the hematological studies, she had normocytic normochromic anemia with hemoglobin of 9 grams per deciliter. The reticulocyte was elevated at 25%. WBC's count was 10,580 per microliters and the blood platelets count were 125,000 per microliter. The LFTs were elevated. Coagulation studies were within the normal range. For making diagnosis, the patient underwent abdominal contrast enhanced computer tomography or the CT scan of the abdomen, which revealed splenomegaly. And the urine analysis which performed which showed the septicemia due to pyelonephritis. The patient was supposed to have hemolysis due to anemia, hyperbilirubinemia, and urobilinogenuria. To confirm the diagnosis of hemolysis, the patient's heptoglobin level was checked, which was found to be 8 mg per deciliter, and the result of direct and indirect Combs test were negative. A peripheral blood smear showed normal red blood cells with spherocytosis. Now, there are certain questions to ask, as how will you further move towards the right diagnosis? What disease your HANA is suffering from? And how will you treat HANA? It will be easier to answer these questions when you have a thorough understanding of hereditary hemolytic anemias. Scaria.com is bringing a complete lecture of more than 40 minutes on inherited hemolytic anemias along with short clips for quick learning. You can watch these videos on Scaria.com to solve this case study. Simply go to the Scaria.com, subscribe and get a free trial of 2 days.